subkingdom metazoa all animals except protozoans are multicellular they are placed under the subkingdom metazoa the subkingdom metazoa is divided into two divisions parazoa and eumatazoa parazoa it is a small group of animals that are structurally multicellular but functionally unicellular the tissues or the organs are not formed in these animals the nervous system which coordinates various cells is absent and hence the division of labor in these animals is negligible this division comprises only one phylum that is porifera example sponge most of the animals are marine however some live in fresh water also they live a sedentary life and remain attached to rocks they show asymmetry that is no type of symmetry their body is porous the pores open into their body cavity known as spongocele the spongocele opens outside by a single big aperture called the osculum at the apex of the free end of the body the spongocele is lined by flagellated collar cells the skeleton of the body is formed by spicules which act as the endoskeleton these animals exhibit intracellular digestion the excretory substances are thrown away through the osculum along with the outgoing water respiration takes place by diffusion of gases they lack a nervous system they reproduce asexually by external budding and internal budding and sexually by producing male and female gametes the subkingdom metazoa can be divided into two divisions namely parazoa and eumatazoa parazoa these are structurally multicellular but functionally unicellular creatures it has only one phylum that is porifera they are mostly marine in nature and have a large body cavity called spongocele they undergo intracellular digestion respiration occurs by gaseous diffusion and they lack a nervous system they can reproduce both sexually and asexually